We're going to open tonight's press conference with CJ Rodriguez. We're going to go straight to questions. Again, please use the raise your hand function if you'd like to ask a question. We're going to go first to Steve Lehman. And again, please state your name and affiliation when asking a question. CJ, Steve Lehman, New Channel 5 in Nashville. Just what is the mindset of this team tonight? It didn't go your way, but you obviously have a ton to play for tomorrow. How do you turn it around, refocus, and get ready to go 24 hours from now? Just got to have a short memory. I think we need to wash this out as fast as we can and get it done tomorrow. We're going to go next to Aria Gerson. You know, all of the, the pitchers that pitched in today's game were um, freshmen. So how do you guide, you know, a, a true freshman pitcher toward, like through starts like the, or outings like this in such a hostile environment? I mean, this is my first time uh, here too. So I, I kind of just got to go with them and support them as best I can. But I mean, we didn't, we didn't throw strikes tonight. So we got we to be better. Okay, again, please use the raise your hand function if you'd like to ask CJ a question tonight. Next, we're going to go to Chris Harris. Chris Harris, WSMB in Nashville. Uh, CJ, what did, what did Coach say to you guys afterwards? Just that we need to wash it out as fast as we can, get back, get some rest, reset, and let's go out in tomorrow. It was pretty short. Okay, do we have any more questions for CJ? <laughs> CJ, thanks for your time. Yep, thanks. Oh, all right. Okay. You're good, CJ, thank you. Oh. Next, we're joined by head coach Tim Corbin. Coach, if you would open with a brief statement on tonight's game, and we'll open it up to questions. Yeah, just a tough night all the way around. Uh, we didn't do much of anything real well at all. Uh, so we have to regroup quick and uh, concern ourselves with tomorrow. Okay, we're going to open to questions. Again, please state your name and affiliation when asking. We're going to start with Steve Lehman. Tim, Steve Lehman, New Channel 5 in Nashville. Obviously, disappointment tonight, but everything to play for tomorrow. Is there any challenge of getting your guys to refocus and be back ready to go? No. Our next question is from Aria Gerson. Um, you went with several pitchers tonight that, you know, haven't pitched in um, – a, a month or so. So, you know, what was the strategy of, of using those guys? Was it just to save um, some of the other relievers for potential third game? Yeah, we we just needed to eat some innings some way, somehow. Tough sledding for those kids. They're all freshmen, first-year guys. Uh, to your point, they haven't pitched a whole lot. So first opportunity out here is rather difficult. I thought Berkowitz threw well. I thought he threw a lot of strikes, and that was a, a good inning for Donye Evans for the most part. Next question comes from Chris Harris. Chris Harris, WSNB in Nashville. Tim, it's been a while since you guys have had a game like this. What, what do you lean on uh, with them to know and feel confident that uh, they're going to be able to, to refocus and go tomorrow? You know, I, 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 I don't know, Chris. I mean, yeah, we haven't played a game like that. But, you know, whether it's 13 to 1 or 2 to 1, I mean, if you, if you lose 2 to 1 and it might have more of an effect than the 13-1 game, it's embarrassing to play a 13-1 game. And it's, it's not fun to play like that. But at the same time, it's a loss. And you can, you know, a loss is a loss is a loss. They're not worth more than the other. So... Uh, all, all you're left with is a next game, and everyone would sign up for that. Our next question is from Robbie Weinstein. 
Uh, hi, Tim. I, I know you may not know for sure until tomorrow, but what are your you know hopes for what Nick Maldonado can give you tomorrow out of the bullpen if necessary in terms of length? Yeah, we just don't know yet, Robbie. I mean, I think today was an important day for all of them, uh, no matter who it was. But uh, we, we've got able bodies tomorrow. I mean, whether it's Nick or anyone else, we just try to once once we wake up, once the kids start moving around a little bit, start moving their arm, we'll kind of determine what we need to do. Next question comes from Chris Lee. Uh, Chris Lee, VandySports.com. Yeah, Tim, with, with Kumar, presuming he's who you throw tomorrow, um, do you approach his outing or his pitch count any different, I guess, with two fewer days rest than, than you would have for him to during the year? Yeah, I mean, it would, we'd manage that in a way that we need to. Um, you know, we've been, we've been in these spots before out here, ha had to do it with Fulmer and Bueller. So, uh, you know, it's kind of what it is. I mean, you get into a situation much like them with, with Bednar and Sims and so on. Um, you, you just do what you have to do within reason. And certainly health comes into that equation. Next question is from Greg Eschelin. Hello, Coach. Uh, Greg Eklund from Omaha Public Radio and NPR. Um, it was reported earlier today that some Vandy families last night had some racial slurs directed at them. How did you learn about that, and what is your reaction? My reaction? Yes. It's very concerning. Uh, I mean, that's n not about the baseball game, uh, but... You know, I, I, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, it's just bad behavior, poor behavior. Uh, tough to tough to fathom that 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 happens. Uh, but no, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about it. Next question is from Chris Harris. Tim, with Kumar tomorrow, is there any other guy that you would rather have the ball in his hand in a situation like that? And what do you expect from him right from jump? Compete. He'll compete. Give him the ball. He'll compete. Next, we go to Steve Lankman. Tim, you've talked about it before how special it is to be playing on the final night of the college baseball season, national championship on the line. It'll be the fourth time you've done it now. Just how great is that feeling, going to the ballpark tomorrow with a team with a chance? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it is, Steve. I mean, you know, I don't take that for granted. Uh, it, it, the fact that you're here and you can start the baseball season on opening day and you can close it, there's only two teams that get an opportunity to do it. We've been very fortunate to be in this situation, as you said, and, you know, this is a, a different team. It's a new team in a lot of different ways. They really have played very consistent baseball, and the fact that they could put themselves in this position is a, is a credit to them. Um, now the, the moment will be trying to finish it off, and uh, we'll, we'll look forward to that opportunity tomorrow. Next question is from Greg Eklund. No, no question. Seeing no more questions, I appreciate your time, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone, for, for participating tonight. You can find a recording of this press conference in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at ncaa.veritone.com, and transcripts will be available at ncaa.com backslash transcripts.